Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at how we can use D3 with R. More specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the D3 libraries within R so that we can take advantage of all these super cool data visualizations uh, really, really easily. So first off, let's just take a quick look at what exactly D3 is. So D3 is uh, effectively a set of um, data visualization libraries. Uh, which uh, work in JavaScript, so they will work in any browser, which is kind of nice. Um, you can see that you've got all kinds of different cool visuals here. Uh, let's just uh, click through a few of these just to see what some of these kind of look like. All right. You can see that uh, D3's got a built-in uh, physics engine, so you've got these uh, quite cool different effects there. You have um, very sort of interactive visuals as well. So here's a sort of dynamic filter. Let's take a look at some other, other, other ones. That looks pretty neat. And a little sunburst. Looks like you can drill into some of these. Well, that's pretty cool. Cool. Now if we scroll down a bit, you can also start to have a little bit of a look at what the code looks like for some of these. Um, and you can see there is a decent amount of code in here to make all this, uh, this whole thing work. Now, it's also important to keep in mind that all of this code is really just to do with the visualizations, right? So now if you are working with data and, you know, you've already, you already spent like a, a ton of time like uh, doing all the analysis in the back end, working with all the numbers, doing the different prep. And you want to take advantage of some of these visualizations to present your final product because they just look super cool, add a lot of extra bang to your presentation. Um, but we want to find an easier way to be able to use some of these. So I'm going to come over to CRAN and have a look through the packages. I'm going to have a look at uh, all of the packages here, and I'm just going to do uh, Control F to search for everything with D3. So I have 26 results here, and the first one of these is uh, Sunburst R. So let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to come over here to the documentation, and I'm going to come down here and see if I can get an example. So here we have an example. Let's uh, copy and paste this into R. Down to here. Okay, so this example here uses a couple of libraries. It uses Shiny and Sunburst R. So let me just open a new page over here where I'm going to install these packages. So I'm going to install the package for Shiny. Oops. Let's put that in brackets there and install packages Sunburst. There we go. Let's run those. Install Shiny and install Sunburst. Okay, that looks all happy, so let's come back over to our example here and let's try and run this. Cool. So there we have a, yeah, that's a pretty neat little example there. Cool, and that's, uh, yeah, using some D3 directly in an R Shiny app. So in this example, we are looking at a Shiny app, which means it has a little bit of extra code overhead. And if you haven't used Shiny before, then there's a little bit of extra stuff to, to learn here. So let's see if we can find a simpler example so we can isolate um, how we can just use the Sunburst library on its own without uh, using Shiny as well. So let's come back over to the uh, documentation. Uh, we can see that uh, there's basically a simple function here that it looks like you can um, basically call this graph just by calling sunburst um, and passing it some data. So let's take a look through this. <clears throat> okay, so here they have another example. 
uh, which looks like it's really just a, a couple of key lines. So let's just copy that and come back over to R. Let's start a new project and then just paste that in there. Um, so what do we have? We really just have um, loading library, which we can do there. Um, we have a sample data set, so which is sequences. Let's run that. Um, let's just take a look at what the data inside sequences look like. So we can see that, okay. It's really just got a, a couple of columns of data separated by these little dashes, which is, uh, which is interesting. Uh, and let's just run this sumverse function here. So control enter and there we have our neat little sunburst diagram again. So you can see that these, uh, these libraries are really pretty cool and pretty powerful. Um, you can take something which is um, uh, quite a bit of D3 code and you know, basically get access to that via, uh, via a single function. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm basically gonna go through and I'm gonna go back to CRAN and I'm going to go through um, all of these kind of D3 examples. So I'm gonna have a look through um, each of these libraries and I am going to um, do exactly the same process again. I'm going to go through the documentation, copy and paste out uh, each of the different examples um, into in our project, uh, which we can basically um, have a, a look through uh, so we can get an idea of all the different packages available.